G. And rounding off our Red Alliance, we have team number 1983. With their robot Blackbird, put your hands together for Skunkworks Robotics. And on the Blue Alliance, we have team number 4469. From Thomas Jefferson High School, that's Raid. And their Alliance partners, team number 5937. From Mercer Island High School, that's MI Robotics. And wrapping up the Blue Alliance, our host, Team 2046. It's Bare Metal!
Alrighty, we're gonna get this match started in just a second. Drivers behind your lines. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, go. Welcome to qualification match number 39 here at day two of the Washington Girls Generation. We're in the middle of our autonomous period here. Robots are running pre-programmed autonomous code, trying to get as many of those cargo into the top hub as they can. Lost two pieces of cargo from bare metal, both bounced out. That's all right, 14 points for blue, 12 for red so far this match. Drivers take control now. Bare metal, two more pieces of cargo into that top upper hub. Both of those getting counted and added to their score. 18 points so far for blue. Their teammates. 4469, that's Raid, also picking up some cargo and loading it into that lower hub. That's two pieces, they've got one more, that's a third. 23 points for them. Bare Metal being heavily defended by 948. And RG trying to keep that scoring machine from getting that cargo into that upper slot. They're getting lined up, it's up, it's in. Even with the defense still able to score that machine, looking over on the red side of the field. Skunkworks Robotics with one piece of red cargo loaded into that upper hub, trying to get that one that is right next to Bare Metal. Potentially drawing some attention from the referees. We'll see what how that works out. Skunkworks Robotics with one piece of red cargo, trying to find a second over near their hangar zone. They've got it loaded in. They'll have to get lined up near the bottom of the hub to get that shot in. 948 not moving. We'll hope they get their robot reconnected and try to defend against bare metal a little bit more. Meanwhile, also on the Red Alliance, 3786, the Chargers with their robot Douglas continuing to load some some cargo into that upper hub. 30 points for the Red Alliance, 34 on blue. Just over 30 seconds remaining, still anybody's match. Skunk works over in the blue hangar zone. Quickly running out of time. Need to get out of there before the end game starts. Bare Metal trying to find some blue cargo. They've got one. Red is not the color you want, guys. Blue loaded in. 42 points for blue. We're in a protected end game now. We'll see which robots go for the climb. Over in the blue hangar zone, you can see Bare Metal hooking on to the mid rung. They're going to work their way up and try to make it all the way to the traversal rung here in the next 10 seconds. They're up, they're all the way, and that's a traversal hang over on the red side of the field. We've got one robot off the ground, and Skunk Works fixing to join them. One second remaining, can they make it? They don't quite make it up there. Our referees will look over those climbs, get your scores tallied, and we'll be right back with you with the final match result. Light lead for the Blue Alliance heading into the end game. Will they be able to hold on to it? Your scores are on the screen. And the Blue Alliance takes it away with a final score of 57 points and two ranking points. All three, three Alliance members moving up in the rankings that round. So a respectable score from the Red Alliance. All 40 points in total. No ranking points for them. We'll be back with qualification match 40 in just a moment here at Washington Girls Generation.